what is going on YouTube it's your boy Billy Kibaki and today I'll be showing you how to run the homebrew launcher and Lodine on your Nintendo Wii U so this is for people who have the update 5.5.2 if you are below that then this tutorial is not for you so let's go ahead and get started so first of all I have these two folder right here the homebrew channel and Lodine GX2 so what we need to do right now is create a new folder and let's call this one Wii U so inside the Wii U folder go ahead inside that one and create another folder and call this one apps inside the apps folder now go ahead and drag these two folders inside that and that's it I'll also leave a link to these two files in the description so once that's done close that that folder and copy the Wii U folder and let's paste it on our memory card so guys this is the memory card for my Wii U so remember that your memory card need to be on FAT32 okay so let's go ahead and eject our memory card and we're gonna go and plug it in our Wii U Now we just turn on the Wii U and it's loading up. So go ahead and press OK. Remember guys that your Wii U need to be turned off when you are inserting the memory card. So what we need to do right now is go over to the internet browser. Now that you are on the internet browser guys, just go ahead and enter this URL. Now once that's done, press OK. Now you will see the exploit page pop up guys. So what you need to do right now and also keep in mind that this exploit is not stable as the first exploit. So if it fails or if your console freeze, just restart your console and try again. So what you need to do right here is just go ahead on your gamepad and click on that word that says exploit, that big blue word that says exploit. Now give it time to let it load. And there you go guys, now we have the homebrew launcher version 1.4 by DMOC and we now have the Lodine GX2 running on our Wii U. So it's as simple as that guys, just follow my step and you can have it done as well on yours. So remember that this tutorial is only for people who are still on, who, who got the update and now are on 5.5.2. So if you are below that firmware, then you need to do the other tutorial for that version. So guys, in my next video, I'll show you how to run games using the Lodine method. So once again, guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.